Good morning guys and welcome back to the Lit Shop. Peter has arrived with his Nissan and Leon is also inside of there. So today we're gonna change the gearbox of Peter and we're just gonna have fun. I'm gonna tear down the 1J and Leon is probably gonna do nothing like always, but yeah, we're just gonna have fun and we'll take you guys along. But first, my piece of shit has to go up the lift. This is gonna be exciting because the front fenders and the hood are not attached to the car and we don't have brakes, so yeah, it's gonna be fun, isn't it? You're gonna get exposed, mate. <laughs> exposed, mate. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> get it off! <laughs> is it even on there? No. <laughs> I broke it like three weeks ago. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's mint. That's how. That's what it's supposed to do. You you can just pop it off so you can reach it because yeah, it's always breaking. Because it's always. Yeah, it is. What is it? Why are you here? <laughs> Because, because it's broken. I broke my Not because of this <laughs> is broken. No, because, no, of the, because of the broke trans is broken. <laughs> so while these dummies are doing the transmission or well the shifter right now, but they are gonna do the transmission on Peter's car and I'm gonna be tearing down the 1J, I'm gonna be taking out cylinder six. And to do that, we need to take off the lower pan and the upper pan. And when those are off, we can flip the engine and we can take out the rod bolts for cylinder six and then we can actually uh, slide it out and when it's out we can see if the piston rings are gone or the block is damaged and then i can make a plan with what i'm gonna do with the engine in the future so yeah that's what we are gonna be doing today and we're just hanging out we're just having fun all right you reckon this is fun yeah it is heaps of fun right is it fun always oh, you have fun these sounds are fun. <laughs> Taking off a transmission on an S13 is really easy. It's just the bell housing bolts. You take off the drive shaft, you take off the shifter, but you do that from on top. Then you take out the mount. And that's actually basically it. So it's not gonna be a real uh, hassle to take it off. Oh yeah, and of course the slave cylinder. But it's just a few things to take off and support the engine so it's not tipping forward because you don't want that. Your radiator is not gonna like it. So we need to support that one and then we can take off the transmission. And that's really all about it. Don't hit your head, mate. Oop. Is it on Thai's height? Yeah. <laughs> Are you a little bit tiny guy? <laughs> you little tiny fella. I don't think the bridge has ever been this low. So yeah. I'm not small, the world is too big. <laughs> Good job on that one. So we're just gonna see how fucked the transmission is. <laughs> Look at it, it's been taken. It. Oh, oh, oh my no, god. No. Oh! oh. It's not it doesn't pull to the magnet. It's not that bad. But it's really metallic. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Good job on you! Oh, oh mate! <laughs> mate, what did you have to eat yesterday? It looks like shit, mate. It really does. Damn, that's it not good. It looks a bit like <laughs> A bit? A bit. One on one. Mate. Damn. It smells good. Well, it was time to replace it, I guess. 
Now we can inspect the head gasket. I haven't looked at this side in the other video the other night because it was stuck at the head, but now it's loose and it looks good. It's full of oil, but yeah, that's, that's suspected. Actually, it looks really good. So uh, yeah, that's bad news because I don't think it's the head gasket right now that was losing compression. So we're gonna take out cylinder six and then the bad news can start because I think it's uh, completely done. This hurts. I just put my foot here and the flywheel <laughs> falls on my ankle. Luck, Don't mate. laugh. Bad luck, mate. It's not funny. Bro, but yeah, this looks very safe because I need to adjust the stand over here. I need to put it on those holes because the upper pan is coming off. So I need to support it on the front and hope it's not gonna fall. Should be funny if it doesn't fall. <laughs> Look at this. Damn. Daniel. Well, we can uh, safely say it's f Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Jets flying as fuck, mate. So what are you guys doing? So right now we've um, unbolted everything, so everything is loose right now. I hope. And then uh, we can uh, take off, off the shitty the, uh, transmission. Yeah, take off the broken transmission. Should be lighter than stock. It's lost a lot of metal. Oh, there it goes. This was way too easy, man. Well, this ain't good content. Why didn't you take that out before? Yeah. I was hoping I had enough play in it. No, I don't think you have. I think I think, it, I think you need to take it out and just yes. drop it down. You need to unbolt these two, and no, then you can drop it down. Okay, so now it needs. So yeah, to I'll be back. Axle is out. Now it's time for the fun part. That's taking off the broken transmission. I really would want to help, but yeah, I don't have any hands free, so. Move, move, move. Up high. Up, up. up, up. Chop, chop. I think you need to lower it down. No, it's not. It's, it's clear, it's still. Yeah, but you can still lower it down. Oh wait, wait. We need to do the uh, support under the engine because otherwise the engine is gonna no, tip over. No, you have enough clearance. You do? Yes. Okay. Show sure party. Almost there. Almost there. Two. Now you need to lower it. Trans. No, 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 no. Some tension now. The trans needs to go down because the engine uh, is yeah, already going. Get the, the mount yeah. from the dinner, city. The yeah. brace. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, and now down. Yeah. Go down. Can we go down more? Yeah. Just, just a bit. Oh, yeah, that was it. That was now, it. Now go down. But now it's laying <laughs> in the fucking... Wait, 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 wait. You're fucking breaking everything now. Uh-oh. -uh. Lower it. Yeah, yeah, you that's it. Just lower it. It's, it's free. Uh, yeah, it's already it's free. Cool. You can lower it. Yeah. Wait. Yo. That's it. Yeah. yeah. It's a boy. Oh. Congratulations. There goes all your money oh. every month. <laughs> hey boys, we're going on a little field trip. Follow me. We're going on a trip in our favorite piece of shit. <laughs> and over here we have my corner. I want me spot. And be back there we got my engine and the other transmission. Oh no, fuck no. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. It would be fun. And there it is! We cannot get the engine to tilt backwards enough, so we have a solution. We made a swing. We made a swing. <laughs> it actually looks really good in here, and I checked the play on these two rods, and the play is good. It's not too much, and it's not stuck. So that's a good thing. Now I need to take off the upper pan. There are some bolts here, all 12, 12 mils, 12 mils over here, all the way around. So I'm going to take it off now. 
I got the upper pan off and now I can take off the rod from the cylinder six and the guys are still struggling with the transmission because they cannot get the new one on. <laughs> Peter, yeah. you enjoying it? No. Oh, yeah. Cap is loose. Ooh. What? Did I have a spun bearing? No. Um, no. That shit didn't spin. Mm. It's just loose right now, isn't it? What's that? Because the rod is already down a little bit, so it could spin. But I don't have to know. Look at it. Got a few scratches. No, it's not that, that's not a problem. So that's okay. I can take out the piston. That actually looks good. What? It does have some scratching on the side, new scratching. So yeah, I, oh. It was at this oh, moment no. that he knew he fucked up. I oh, got a oh. cracked piston. Ooh, I got a, I got a cracked piston, mate. Ooh. Whoa, you seen it here first. My piston is done. <laughs> I've been driving with a cracked piston and doing launch control and every dumb shit with <laughs> just a cracked piston. <laughs> oh my, oh here's the other crack. <laughs> that shit's lit. lit. Well, welcome to lit show. <laughs> it's been cracked the whole time. Let's take We're this off, out. And look at that. When you need to service your rings, <laughs> you can just take out a little piece of your piston. <laughs> Now it's time to take out the other five rods and pistons. So this one is having a little bit of a struggle coming out. Uh -oh. Okay, we'll uh, get to that one later. Looks really good, so yeah. It was only still in the six. Only cylinder six had a little brown edge on the top. It was a little bit rigid, and the other ones didn't. So don't expect to see anything else on the pistons. Actually, looks really good. Pizza. That one still Bits doesn't off. get out. Still doesn't want to go out. Yeah, there it is. There it is. This one also looks good. So it was only seven and six, as we expected. What time is it? Oil time. Oil time. <laughs> so Oil. what you gonna do there? Ooh. No, give that to me. <laughs> no, I won't marry him. And now we wait. We wait. Maybe How we long? Just, maybe we can stick the other one in as well. Yeah, <laughs> stick it in. Two. <laughs> Two in the same. The one in the same. <laughs> <laughs> the shifter is in, but as you saw in the beginning of the video, his uh, golden shifter is not really useful anymore. Wobbles a bit. So he's going to use the handle of a drill. And that works perfect. So yeah, he can order a new one. But in the meanwhile, he's got a shifter. <laughs> so this is gonna be the moment of truth. The moment of truth. D. First gear. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yeah, mate! Yeah, yeah! It works. Does it? Hit the skip. 
keeltje of zo klinkt het al. Ja, misschien oké. Okay. some kind of noise and we don't know what it is so we're gonna drive back home now we know the transmission is good and the gears work clutch works there's no uh, weird noise with the axles or something uh, in the transmission area but there is a little rattle like a heat shield or a bolt is just loose so we're gonna put it on the lift again and then we're gonna check if there is something loose and I hope we find it and then after that's fixed the well the, the transmission swap is done so we just took off this little shifter and I think that the shifter was creating some kind of echo from the noise inside of the trans and that it sounded like it was a really bad thing and was making a lot of noise. So this was acting like a little bit of a speaker. It was creating an echo of the small sound that was coming from the transmission. So it doesn't sound bad anymore. This was just amplifying it. So Peter, what did we forget? What was making well, the noise? Maybe, the blink, blink the maybe, we didn't, maybe. We didn't, we didn't ah, we, we forgot the blinker fluid. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe it's the little bit loose engine mounts. What, were the engine mounts loose? <laughs> <laughs> did we forget to put them back on? No, no, well, they were on, but they, they were weren't on. tight. <laughs> so yeah, I think that was causing a little bit of the noise, but it should be gone now, so we can go for another test drive after this. I flipped the block and the block seems fine. All the cylinders seems fine instead of cylinder six because that has the uh, rigid edge. And here is the piece that broke off my piston. So yeah, that's a good one. Don't know what the future is gonna hold for this block, but I know we're gonna build it. And when it's built, it's gonna run 600 horsepower. And I'm really excited for that. Hell yeah, brother. Mine is safe back inside. And you're safe to drive. Yeah, thank you very much. Have a safe trip. Thank you very much. It was really fun. Till yeah. next time. And our master Bye. Leon. Well, have a great trip. Thank Until you. next time. Well, that's gonna be it for today. I took apart the engine and the guys did the transmission swap on Peter's car. My car is back inside and I'm done. It's late, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, drop a like and make sure to subscribe here below. Helps me out and I'll see you guys at the next one.